How's your dad? Terrible! I gotta go get him some therapy plant stacks. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kind of have to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes. Good. Tell anybody you got it from me and you're dead. Bye! John Smith? Hello? I'll take that new intern here. He's usually so organized. I hope Nick's okay. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit them. Hey! Everything okay in here? Who are you? I'm, uh, Nick John Smith's new intern. Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait! Better get all this mail sorted, quick! You're making Nick look bad. is addressed to Truman Zanotto. Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is a... I'd better deliver this heavy. What the heck did Truman order here? You guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's alive, but he's brainless. <gasps> what kind of sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady Lucktopus Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? 
to investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. What? Aren't we all going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you. To the intern's bay. Now. I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Last one there has to delouse the brain tumbler. TV? I'll bet those guys took Nick's body back to the field. I should go check and see if he's okay. He is my mentor after all. Bothering you. Just thinking about Nick. Psychics. Hey, don't worry. We're going to find Nick's brain. It's just. He was so. so great at sorting mail, you know? I'll sort your mail, Colin. What? I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Check these new pins, the very latest. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up. Don't be a stranger. Nothing like a little clairvoyance booster shot. Oh good, you're finally here. Let me know when you're prepared to learn something. <clears throat> if I may speak... You may not. Class is in session. Can I ask... Please hold all questions till the end of the lesson. Agent Foresight. That mission is being handled by experienced psychonauts. Do not bring it up again. When does class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? That's cute. is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as Mental Connection. Cool! Ooh, sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, kid. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But Agent Forsyth, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut.
try not to fall asleep in my class. All right, Repscallion. Okay, now how do I explain mental connection extremely simply? Let me guess. We focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. Professor. Let's go on. <gasps> what the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry. Old habit from the circus, I guess. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. What the heck is that? What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together! Oh, now you're in trouble. Hey, what's the big idea? Looks like... disgust. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. Cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Hmm. If you could get her not to be so worried all the time, we could all go on a real Psychonauts mission! Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. scared don't do it i mean you'll probably get kicked out of the psychonauts for trying but what the heck connect those thoughts young man try not to kill her brain raz remember it's for Here's the good the of the trunk. mission <gasps> not only is cilantro delicious it's affordable Easy to grow on. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress. Well, but it tastes like so much. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. idea. They just don't have the experience. I don't want her to know I'm here. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Ah! Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital. I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz.
Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. No, wait. I think that is a bad idea. for any bad ideas but my own. Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. My God, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! You saved another life, Dr. Potts. Oh, please, I was just doing my job. I heard the technique you used was developed by your intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, my intern? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, well, we did collaborate on that a little. The patient will make a full recovery, oh. Dr. Potts. All thanks to you. Mm-hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsyth. Why, uh, yes. Oh, well, she has been a helpful assistant. I like the look of yep. these. This brain has made amazing progress. Another life <laughs> saved by the Forsyth method. The, the POTS method? POTS? It was my invention? That in turn merely transcribed my dictation. Oh, uh, my apologies, Dr. POTS. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. A mind. Huh. I've got half a mind to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. Good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. At our current burn rate. Uh, that's no good. Maybe if I move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. <sighs> Another grant is off the table for sure. I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them. But it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. I mean, life experiences. Give me your wisdom, Nugget. Yep. take risks, but what use is it? No. Whenever I see socks with sandals, it reminds me of my favorite German No. Whenever I see socks with sandals, it reminds me of my favorite German But what use is it? I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. If Hollis wants to solve her money problems, she's going to need to accept some risk. I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems. Teach? What gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? Well, you know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool! All right! Sweet. Um... Woo! Thank you. 
I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Forsythe. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial we find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now how long till we reach the Lady Lactopus? We are almost there. Agent Foresight, how are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Aww. Weak. Be happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Yep. Oh. Teacup, come in. Are you there? Call us. Hmm? Oh, yes. Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I have you on visual. Teacup, this is Dustpan. I'm approaching position one. What are you doing in there, Sam? When Agent Forsythe finally blows, this will be the only safe place. Everything's good on the mission so far. You mean except for our mission commander having a total breakdown? It's not a breakdown. She's just strategizing. Uh-huh. Because my position is close. No need to explain, agents. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Let's keep radio. <gasps> Rasputin, don't sneak up on me like that. Listen, do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but hurry. Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. No need to explain, Agents. You do your job, and I'm... I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. I've actually never even heard of dousing. Oh, no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Alice, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry. I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes, please find Agent Forsyth right away. I don't know how long I can... Hold on! Oh. I'm on it. What would help? I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. Alert. Weak psychic activity detected. Weak? up to her this way. <sighs> oh, wait until Truman sees all the money I'm going to make. Hollis, wait! Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, I 
replace your bags. Don't worry, Agent Foresight. I can fix this. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. Huh. Well, it's different. But maybe it's not so bad? Foresight? You in here? Oh, I don't like this one bit. Ah! Oh no! Looks like Hollis had a spontaneous change in her worldview. Unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. Who am I kidding? I need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... uh yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy? This is an emergency. No. No. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing? <laughs> some side pops. I, I gotta... Good thing we're near a hospital, so, uh, your ghosts don't have to walk very... Oh, never mind.
So pretty, so wise. New player, everybody. Deal them in, stat. Come on, live, damn you, live! Yep. Full recovery. recovery! You did it, oh. Dr. Potts! Call me Jack. Let's go for double or nothing. Woo! Oh. Banana. Banana. Banana! Infection? Ah, dang it! I'm so sorry, Doctor. Oh, well, it can't be helped. Some patients are just bad luck. Yep. I don't like the look of these. Mm. Yes, the heart's salvageable, but the rest... Oh. Should we fold? No, no, let's hold the eight and the queen, and we'll pull for the inside straight. I'll just quickly pop into Hollis's quiet place and fix this mess. High Rollers Lounge? That's not good. Oh no! Rasputin, what are you doing here? Sorry, I didn't mean to crash your hospital. Casino. Oh, everyone's welcome in the casino. Without gamblers, how else would we make any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just can't be up here because it's the High Rollers Lounge. Wait! Agent Forsyth, I need to tell you. Ah! <laughs> Just the morgue. Huh? Yes, Rasputin. Uh, we got a patient here. Needs emergency access. Sorry, the table minimum in the High Rollers Lounge is uh three gazillion dollars. What? How much is a gazillion? More than you got, kid. <laughs> Open up! My patient is dying! He needs fancy drinks! Stat! In my opinion, your patient needs an emergency dose of three gazillion dollars. <laughs> How did you two get in here? We followed you. We thought it would be fun, but... It's full of babies! Come on, looking for a little luck here. We have to have a baby. Or you could just, like, have a happy life together. Looks like the house takes it this time. This time? You mean every time. Come on, lovey, let's try another number. We have to win eventually. Well, this is obviously rigged, right? Adam? Lizzie? Guess they really don't like babies. I see some people out there who could really use a child. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Oh, 
first tag. Oh, I just don't know. Didn't we already use that one? Hold your bets. The ball is in play. Round and round and round it goes. Haven't hit the gazillion dollar number yet? Oh, this isn't about the money. We are already so rich. So rich. <laughs> yes, we just want a child. More than anything in the world. But the confounded house always wins. I hate to say this out loud, but... I have my suspicions regarding the up and upness of this low-down dive. Don't give up. You're bound to get lucky eventually. Maybe you could stand over there. My wife thinks you might be bad luck. Oh, we never learn, do we? How can we turn these ne'er do wells into fair do wells? Let's try it one last time. Who's going to take care of you when you're older? Maybe we're not betting enough money each time. Spinning time! Oh, honey, this is it. Here we go again. <laughs> I want you to feel what this feels like. I really do. You're doing great. Yep. Double zero. <laughs> Double zero is the winner. What a lucky break for the house. Well, if you didn't win, now's your chance to fix that with another bet. <laughs> I can't seem to connect to that idea. Guess I need more practice. No more bets. Let's spin that wheel. Hey, now, no regurgitation on the red wheel, baby. I feel good about this. Honestly, people like us shouldn't have to work this hard. <laughs> Welcome to Palenko, game of luck and skill. Can you get the patient to take her bitter pill? Skill? It looks like it's all luck. Oh, it is, but it takes skill to do it and avoid a serious head injury. Oh, how do I... Good luck! remember where I parked that thing. Careful in there. Hey, where's her heart? I'll never be a gazillionaire when she looks like that. That spot is a gazillion dollars. Hey, how are you supposed to get here? What a ripoff. That machine is broken. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The Sore Losers Club is down the hall. Wow. He looks like an injectable. But really, he's just a pill. What are you two doing here? You think we're going to let you go alone and get all the extra credit points? I'm just here to gamble. Well, stay away from this game. There's only one spot on the board that pays out. And it's totally blocked. It's like her heart is in the wrong place. Hey, I'll bet I could... Morris? Norma? Where'd they go? Don't give up, man! You'll never win by quitting! Yeah, 
It's all just a matter of betting on the right color. Don't listen to him, Sonny. Come talk to me if you want some true wisdom. doing here? Uh, losing by following my foolish heart. What are you thinking? Hearts is like a gazillion to one. A gazillion to one, you say? So if I bid on hearts and one, I'd win a gazillion dollars. Right? Hey, where'd you go? Okay, that's the last bet. Runners to your starting gates. Prepare the patient for the exam. And they're off. It's locked.
technician is dying. He needs fancy drinks. Stat! I think I hear some. Your patient needs an emergency dose of three gazillion dollars. <laughs> Every spinner. Hmm. What about my birthday? Ah! About the day? Hold your bets. The ball is in play. Oh. Spinning time. Don't worry. The babies love to spin like that. Just listen to them laugh. Get that baby yet? Oh, darling, is he trying to be cruel? Don't give up. Have no fear, Mike. Get that baby yet? Oh, darling, is he trying to be cruel? This system is rigged. Maybe I could help unrig it. Oh, if you could do that, you could have all the money. Yes, we don't care about that. Because we're so rich. Yes, very wealthy, it's true. But poor in children. Help us win a baby and you, sir, can have the gazillion dollar prize. And our eternal gratitude. Leave it to me. What are you waiting for? Clocks and tickets. I know you're not supposed to say this, but money really does solve a lot. Can't do it. I can't make a connection with that idea for some reason. Well, of course the whole system is rigged. But I mean, I'm just one person. What could I do about it? We can unrig this game, but you gotta believe it's possible first.
Then again, how do we know we can change things unless we try? And we have a winner! Looks like this time it's... Not double zero? What? We... We... We won! Well, I guess miracles do happen. You're telling us. Oh, we are so happy! Well, I'm dead. Here, young man. I don't know what you did, but I'm a man of my word. We don't need it, because... You're rich? Yes, but we don't like to talk about it. Oh, look at our little jackpot. When does it start fulfilling all of our unachieved ambitions? Right after we use its identity to hide our excess taxable income. Oh, it will be so nice to have a couple of spare kidneys around the house. It's just a mental baby. It's just a mental baby. Okay, I got a gazillion dollars. One lucky card does not make three of a kind, sir. You're ahead. Who says I'm ahead? I've sunk so much money into this machine, it can't just leave it all behind. Actually, I think it's important to know when to quit, especially when playing through Loki with your grandma. Sounds like you've got a method. The secret is you have to listen to the colors. Let the rainbow of lights lead you to the pot of gold. Uh, that doesn't sound like a smart way to make decisions to me. Any luck? Uh, looks got nothing to do with it, son. <laughs> I win with my brains. I got math on my side. A formula for <laughs> victory. Wouldn't the wisest choice be, you know, not gambling? There are some misguided ideas floating around this room. I wish I could help them make smarter decisions. Yeah. All these garish colors make me want to die. Maybe I should just give up. Smart people don't try. The trick isn't just making decisions, but making the right one. Ah, a little judgment. There's some progress. 
I wish they knew that sometimes walking away is the best choice. What I need is for one of those TV judges to tell me what to do. Maybe I should just give up. Smart people don't try. I guess it's not really bad to quit, if it's the right thing to do at the moment. Moderation. Isn't that a novel concept? Moderation. Now that's the real path to victory. You know what? I think the only way to win is to know when to play and when to stop. Following your feelings sounds bad, but really, who wants to hear about those ugly things anyway? Even though making new connections is what got me into this mess, I think making a better one here is actually the only way out. I need to upgrade my mental connection game before I can connect ideas like that. I think holding down all these feelings is giving me a bit of indigestion. Oh, that feels better. Now that her heart is in the I want another shot. Okay, I'll just need you to bend over and... No, at the game. Really? Okay. Let's get this medicine to stop. I'm no doctor, but I know what I like. I like that heart much better in its new location. We call that a jackpot? I need another chance. Of course. I mean, you can't lose forever. Please keep track of your valuables. Just a pit stop. I gotta get this pit in the stomach. What? That can't happen. How did you do that? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, I guess. Oh, you're going down all right, once the boss finds out about this. But you ain't taking me with you. I'm out of here. Whatever. Give me that gazillion. Two gazillion dollars. Please put the third gazillion on my room tab. Sir, we are offended that you would imply that we would allow mere double gazillionaires into the High Rollers Lounge. I'm making progress, but it's time to wrap this up once and for all. Sasha and me are in danger while I'm here gambling. 